My sister, who lives quite a distance from us, came in for a family party, and she's a speech pathologist and audiologist. And she said, what are you doing with her? Her eye contact is unbelievable. She initiates conversation now. She comes up to a family member and says, hi, Aunt Mimi, how are you? And just carries on a conversation that she never did before. And then, like, even the sensory stuff, hugging people. My mother commented, like, wow, she comes up to me now and hugs me. And it shows the affection that she never did before. It was just amazing to hear that from our family members because we just took it for granted, you know, because we're with her every day. It's amazing to see um, she's going into fifth grade now and her self-esteem, unbelievable, and the friends that she has now because she was very much a loner too, didn't have many friends. And the kids looked at her as being a little different too. Mm -hmm. And now it's amazing. Like we don't even see her now. Yeah. <laughs> she's up the hill with the girls up the hill. It's like, wow, and walking with them and initiating conversation, things that she never did before. She was struggling uh, very badly uh, in school um, and uh, I mean it's really heartbreaking for a parent to sit there and look at your child and she looks at you and says I hate school I, I don't want to go don't make me go I don't want to go and it's just you know I mean I mean this I mean it's you know it, I mean it's not like they're being tortured here but evidently in her mind it was torture it was, it was she couldn't deal with uh, the learning aspects, the, the social interaction, she, she couldn't handle all of this. Um, but uh, it just what Jill has accomplished and, and the, the rest team. of the team has accomplished here in bringing ILS in, um, I mean, it, it really turned her life around. And right. that's something for, for a small child. I mean, that's, We're grateful. And, and, and not to mention for a parent. Yeah. You know, so. You know, if, if they don't get it now, the whole foundation of the rest of their lives is going to be, you know, or, you know is going to be affected. Uh, so, uh, you know, just, just to realize that, you know, your child is going to have the, the right foundation. They're going to, they, they've got the building blocks in place so that they can become successful and, and not become a statistic. Uh, you know, that's huge. I think to piggyback off of that, my son had, uh, has auditory processing. And he started off in kindergarten what we expected to be a normal kindergarten experience. And we found that he struggled. He couldn't read, he couldn't follow up and keep up with the math. And it turned into tears every night at bedtime. Don't make me go to school. I, I can't do school. I don't understand. And the frustration level escalated to the point where he was so anxious at night, he was having night terrors, he was walking in his sleep, and he would break out in hives before going to school in the morning because he was so terrified to go to school because he knew that he just wasn't where his peers were. Once we were able to get a plan into place and he started ILS later on, that anxiety level just plummeted and he was, sleeping through the night and his migraines that he was on medication for we didn't need that medication anymore and we don't see the night terrors and we don't see the sleepwalking and we see a little guy who has the confidence to play with his peers on the playground and to talk about all of the friends on the school bus and to engage with all of the other kids because he has that skill set now. But this has been, you know, for anybody that's participated in it, um, it's just it's just unbelievable that the kinds of um, gains we've been able to see. Really, um, you know, it, it's really I think life changing for these kids. Students in the beginning of the year, how they would just be very, um, I, I don't know, I, just really lacked confidence. Um, academically, socially, even just being able to make eye contact. Um, and then towards the end of the year, having no issues in the classroom. We had a student teacher and she could not figure out who the students were that had an IEP. And that was huge for me, you know, to be able to say, well, you know, what do, who do you think? <laughs> and, and really, and it, was, and it was so neat because if she would have come in at the beginning of the year, that would have been very different. And coming in in a large group of students and saying, really, like, 
auditory process. And, you know, this program has been that successful. My little guy um, has gone to summer school since he was eight months old. I knew there were sensory issues and speech problems. You could not understand them. I had trouble understanding him as his mother, and I always had to translate for him all the time. And um, there wasn't a letter that came home saying he had to go to summer school, and I thought, well, you know, maybe he didn't bring it home. Call up the school, and first time he doesn't need summer school. Um, and in two months, he progressed one year reading level, and he is just a different child. He just is so confident, like you said, and just, I mean, in the classroom, he's raising his hand and he's telling his second grade teacher, I know how to solve this. And she loves that he thinks outside of the box and he just, he can tell you step by step where before he could never do that. He was so overwhelmed by the whole process and crying when he had to do homework. And now he's like, you don't need to look at this. She says, I'm doing a great job. I got it. I got it, mom. I'm okay. He's never slept a night through, I, I don't think. He's just always moving. He's, you know, even running, like, in his sleep and everything. And I, she said, okay. They ran and got me this dream pad, and they said, just try this dream pad. I tried it, and I called up the next day, like, crying. I'm like, Alexander slept the whole night through. He woke up, and he was confident he could think. I mean, my poor little guy never slept the whole night through. He was constantly moving, and he had never slept the whole night through. And he loves the He lays on it, and he's just like, oh, listen to this. And he just, (laughs) isn't this amazing, Mommy? Just listen to this. And it just, he goes, and he goes right to sleep, and he sleeps the whole night through. I mean... It is absolutely, I do, I call it the miracle pill. It has changed our life. It really has. I don't think I could give you enough credit. You, um, they've really been so dedicated to making this program work, and I think that's why it's really been so successful as well. I think you're right. (laughs) (laughs) And I have to say, too, though, for Alexander, he was one of my biggest challenges. I mean, he walked in to my speech room, and I went, Oh boy. Okay. Like, and it was tough because he, he was so impulsive and he had sensory but, needs. You know, I said yesterday as a therapist, there's so many times that we think, okay, if we just had another arm or we just had one more way to turn, you know, do one more thing to target different centers of the brain and turn them all on at the same time, or you see some of that anxiety and go, okay, if there was just something I could help them with that so they could access all those great skills that they do have. And then, ILS came around and we thought, oh my goodness, this is what we've been looking for. This is our other arm. This is that magic tool in our kit that lets us turn on all those different centers of the brain at the same time. And it's so powerful for me because I get to help families like you, but we get to let the kids know how awesome they really are. Mm -hmm. You know, you see what's in there. You see their potential. You see, like Ashley said, how great they are in isolation at certain things. And you're like, man, I just wish I could bring it together so that everybody else could see all the amazing things they're capable of. And this has allowed us to do that. 